Dr. Jessica Ash here. One of my students who had never driven a car was loaned a car, a Maserati in fact, by a friend of his. Within 100 feet of driving, he crashed into a minivan, a family with four children, sending all six people to the hospital. This is one of the reasons why we're going to have a global academic conversation about the meaning of money. In this case, it was well-intentioned parents who had struggled hard to become rich and therefore they didn't want their children to have to struggle. So the intention was great, but the unintentional consequences of not teaching your children the value of money is that it impacts other people's lives and the rest of your child's life. You're gonna see many viewpoints on different aspects of money. Uh, one of the conversations will be about the socio-semiotic meaning of the symbol of money. So um, here are a couple of viewpoints that you'll see on October 31st. We all hope you'll join us. I'm always interested in your comments. Type them down below. Subscribe, click on the bell icon. Thanks. A very warm hello. My name is Raj and I'm here to tell you about a special global class coming your way on October 31st. The title is What is Money? Sounds really basic, right? Because after all, we all know what money is. Who doesn't know what money is? But it's incredible how few of us truly know how to manage money properly. And what if you can't manage money properly? It can lead to all kinds of difficulties and stress. We'll be talking about the importance of managing money and how to prevent things like stressful situations in the future. Um, join me and a group of experts, faculty and practitioners from all over the world on October 31st. I look forward to welcoming you there. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Didi Wei, a secondary school principal from Myanmar. Now, I would like to discuss about what is money. As a teacher, or if you are a parent, it's necessary to teach young children to know the value of money, since they are young as a good hobby in life. We can give pocket money to kids as a reward when they do chore at home. We can teach them how to save their pocket money instead of using them all, and saving money or investing it will earn more money for the future. If the children are old enough to work or possible to work in some obligation and earn money, they will understand the value of money more and they will use money usefully and they will not waste it. Thank you so much for your attention.